up everyone this is Dom from MacMixing.com and today we're going to go over Kong and routing the audio inside of Pro Tools. If any of you watch my video on redrum and routing this is fairly similar it's just a couple more steps you got to take to get the audio out of there. The reason why we do this is because redrum or Kong when you create it is set up by default on one track in your mixer so basically you have all the audio going through one track inside of Reason which isn't ideal at all for mixing and mastering and then you have that one track ported over here into Pro Tools coming out of one track. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take each individual drum that I have here and we're going to put it on its own track inside of Pro Tools. So what you got to do first is we're going to go ahead and go down to this little button down here it says show drum and effects. We're going to click that and it's going to open up this window for whatever instrument we have selected. So I'm going to make sure I have my kick drum selected because that's what I'm going to route first. Now you're going to go down to the bottom and you see drum output and it says master effects right now. Well what that's basically doing is it's just sending the master output of the drums to the master output of Kong to the mixer window. To the mixer. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that to 3-4. So I'm sending my bass drum to 3-4 inside of Kong, and then I'm going to route 3-4 to 3-4 inside of Reason. I know it sounds kind of complicated, and you know Reason can get like that with a bunch of routing. But So we have our output set now. So now we're going to flip around to the back here, and now I can go ahead and I see that I have 3-4. Well, I routed my kick drum, which is pad 5, to 3-4, and there's a lot of numbers involved here. But just remember, I'm at, I routed my bass drum to 3-4. So I'm going to take 3-4 and route it to audio out 3-4. I'm basically telling Kong to send the bass drums audio to 3-4 and then I'm sending the outs of 3-4 to my audio 3-4 on my I.O. Once again, it's kind of a tongue twister. It gets confusing, but it's not that hard. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I have this track labeled kick here. I'm going to go and add my Reason Rewire insert and pull that up here and by default it's going to say mix left mix right so we're going to change that to 3-4 and so now when I play 3-4 I should just have my kick drum coming out let's check it out so there we go we have just the kick drum coming through this track just exactly what we wanted to do so now that we have that all figured out, what we're going to do is we're going to do that for every other track that I have here. I have my snare drum. So I'm going to take the snare drum, go to audio output. I'm going to set it to 5-6. Now we have bass drum 3-4 and we're going to have snare 5-6, but I can't hear it because I don't have it routed yet. So I'm going to go in here and take 5-6 and drag that cable all the way up to 5-6 on audio I.O. Go to my next track, put in another rewire insert. And uh, what you can also do instead of just going and having to go through all your menus again, if you just hold Alt or Option, click on Reason, and drag it down to the next track, it'll just copy it there. And then you can go in here and change it. So now we'll have our kick and our snare drum coming through here. And so basically that's it. Let's see what else we have playing here. So we have our kibasa here. So I'm going to take kibasa. I'm going to take it and I'm going to route that to 7-8 and do the exact same thing. It's all repetitive steps, but it's how you get there. And you don't have to I can I don't have to route 7-8 to 7-8. I can route 7-8 to 15-16. It's just you're going to lose your mind when you get all out of order with your numbers and everything's all confusing. I like to keep it pretty simple and straightforward. Keep your routing in the same place. Now when we go inside of Pro Tools, I'm going to copy this Reason insert down here. I'm going to change this to 7-8. And while I'm going along, I'm going to name this tracks accordingly so I don't get confused. Alright, so now we'll have all that coming through. Here. And as you can see, I have full control over all these instruments inside of Pro Tools. And it makes it a lot easier to 
mix your drums and master your songs when you have everything on its own individual track. It makes it really complex because some of these instruments will only go so loud instead of Kong. And you may want your snare louder than kick drum, but it may not max out louder than the kick drum. So routing your tracks is the easiest way to do this stuff. Once again, all you have to do is click on your drum, click on show drum and effects, go down to your drum output, select the output, go to the back of your rack, take the output that you just selected and drag it to that output on your audio I.O. or any output for that matter. Then whatever output you dragged it to, select that channel on your Reason rewire inside of Pro Tools. And remember, you, you do have to have separate rewires for each track. So just make sure you go ahead and select the right ones. Other than that, I hope this was helpful for you. Visit MacMixing.com for all your audio production needs. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. Feel free to email me with any suggestions or tutorials that you'd like to see. And thanks for your time. Have a good day.